ESPN Classic and those of you watching the football game here on ESPN as the Lakers and the Clippers meet here at Staples. And he was one assist shy of a triple double last night when the Lakers were able to come up with a win over Houston. Bryant rises up and squares the game at 28. Push the ball on the offensive end where everybody could be a threat. Oh, great fake by Bryant. Got Thornton and Jordan in the air. We got to run that back. I mean, that's footwork, that's talent, but the ability to go full speed and stop. Wait a minute, you love it. You talk about it. All right, I'll talk about it. There he does. Great jump stop. Oh, show him the ball. Turn away. This is too good. Two replays of it for you. Still Did it leave you good. speechless? Yeah. I mean, here in the first quarter and a half. Making plays, knocking down shots, a little bit of everything. Getting into the seams as good as it gets. Excuse me, move. Off the glass. But the Clippers have a 14-3 run to end the half and take a lead. Lakers trail. Baron Davis, one of the reasons. Cornell. It's all coming up on the Toyota Halftime Show. We have Stuart Scott and Chip. 52-43, our second half set to begin here in L.A. Of course, a big sports week here with the Rose Bowl game a week early on. Catching the ball on the block. Help Kane, a willing pass, an excellent feed. Law pass to Bynum. How about you double team him again? Make some pay the price. Delivery on point to Ron Artest. Loosens up the defense. Now I can play one on one to stand down, jump shot, and then outstanding move. Little dream, shake, pivot. Which the Clippers are one. They're 14 and 0 against sub 500, but they're not playing with the type of intensity that he's accustomed to. He said he's not seen the focus, the intensity, that the energy that they need to keep that undefeated streak alive. I'm seeing intensity, focus on my TV in front of me here with Kobe's look. And now a left hamstring tweak earlier this week. The lob for Bryant as they set it up out of the inbound. And see, here's where you got to understand the game. Kobe Bryant swung the basketball. You have to be alert offensively. Kobe picks Gordon's pocket. Contact prior to the catch. Lamar Odom with the pass on point to Bryant. Coach talked about it. Don't give up easy ones and then hits the deck. Comes up with the strip and then fast break basketball. Here's a guy that's strength to defend him in the low post, but he's a very good low post player. Out of the triangle action, Kobe rises up at the top. Bryant ready to pass him, Marcus Camby. Bryant has the Lakers' last eight. Bryant has the Lakers' last 11. I'm not buying that. No, how about his donations to the chips in Mount Pleasant? Kobe hit. These are the nights that you love sitting courtside in the NBA. The nights that Kobe just lights it up. That focus that Jeff pointed out on his face coming out of the locker room at halftime. Last 13 points for the Lakers scored by Kobe. Talk about that focus. You talk about taking over a game, giving life to your basketball team. It starts on the defensive end, comes up with the strip. Someone called 911. And then he checks the ability to step in rhythm, knock down shots. I'm not finished there. Mama, there goes that man. Kobe Bryant putting on a clinic in this third quarter. Has dropped off. Those used to be knock down three-point shots as Bryant attacks the rim. Stand and cheer quite loud. It is an 8-0 run. Kobe having one of those quarters. It's coming in that third quarter. As he hit six field goals and brought the Lakers back in it. Should have a good finish at Staples. Clippers 79. Lakers 73 on NBA Wednesday. Good for Mike. Sending everybody at Kobe. Gets around everybody and finds final. The luxury of having a Smith with a miss. Kobe on the run out. And they do, despite a 17-point third quarter from Kobe, who had 33. Heather Cox with Baron Davis. Bearing your first win in 10 tries against the Lakers. This isn't just any opponent. Describe the magnitude.